Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this problem because it seems that even though I didn't have time to do it in class, some people would like to see a problem like this done. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this one. All right, this problem says calculate the wavelength in nanometers of a photon with 2.89 times 10 to the minus 19 joules of energy. So we are given energy. We're given this much energy. So I'm going to write down that we have E. E is 2.89 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And what we're looking for is wavelength. And specifically, we're looking for wavelength in nanometers. This is really <coughs> my second example problem in class, just done backwards. Okay, so we're going to be using some equations that we used before. We, once again, we were given energy and we're asked for wavelength. They don't appear in the same equation, but what does appear in that same in both equations is frequency. So we can use energy to calculate the frequency. Remember that H is a constant. We already have that. So if you're given E, you have H, you can figure out new, the frequency. Right? And once you have the frequency, you can plug it into this equation because we already have the speed of light, C. Plug it into here and you get the wavelength. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So first step is to solve for new frequency. All right. So we're using this equation. E is equal to H times frequency. <coughs> and like I did before, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm looking for frequency. I want to isolate frequency. I want to isolate my new so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by H. And that is going to give me the equation where H is cancel on the right. And I'm just going to turn this backwards and go, OK. Frequency is going to be equal to E divided by H. OK, so all I have to do is take my energy, which is given to me over here, right, and plug it into here. And H, remember that H is given to us. H is always 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joules times seconds. Okay, so now I can go ahead <coughs> and plug those numbers in and get myself a frequency. So E is 2.89 times 10 to the minus 19 joules divided by my Planck's constant, or H is called Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th joules times seconds. And if I do this in the calculator now, let me see, can you see it right there? Move this over right here. 2.89 times 10 to the minus 19th divided by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34th. That's going to equal to 4.36 times 10 to the 14th. Fit in there. 4.36 times 10 to the 14th. And my units are per second. Because okay, you will notice here that the joules in the energy cancels and the joules along with the joules in the Planck's constant. So they're both in there, so they cancel, leaving me with seconds in the, denom <coughs> in the denominator. Okay, so this is our frequency now. Okay, we have a frequency. The question's asking for the wavelength. We're looking for lambda. And in our second equation over here, once we have the frequency, we can calculate the wavelength. So C is going to be equal to frequency nu times wavelength or lambda. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to solve for wavelength. So we need to get rid of the frequency on both sides. Well, on the right side. So we divide it by both sides. Now the uh, frequencies cancel out and we're going to be left with wavelength is equal to C over frequency. 
right? I just turned the equation around so that it's easier to kind of see. <coughs> All right, so now oh, we're running a space here. Move that up. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our C. And remember, once again, C is 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. It's the speed of the light. Speed of light. So we're going to go ahead and put in our value for C, 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, divided by our frequency, which we found right over here. So we'll take that and we'll put that over here. 4.36 times 10 to the 19th per second. Okay, and let's plug that into the calculator. Let me go ahead and move that over just a little bit here. So you can see the calculator. So speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 4.36 times 10 to the uh, 14th. Sorry, this is 14th, not 19th. And that's going to give us 6.88 times 10 to the minus 7th. Right. So 6.88 times 10 to the minus 7th is our answer. And the units are, let's see, we can see that seconds here. We'll cancel with seconds here, leaving us just with meters. So at this point, we have a wavelength. But the wavelength is in meters. You'll recall that the question over here wants the answer in nanometers. Okay, So we got a wavelength. It's in meters. All it means is we, we, right now we just have to convert our meters into nanometers. So we know how to do that. It's way back from the conversion factor uh, per, um, chapter, right? 6.88 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And we'll recall that nano means 1 billionth. So it turns out that there's 1 billion, or 1 times 10 to the 9, nanometers in 1 meter. Okay, so now we can go ahead and cancel out meters. Take 6.88 times 10 to the minus 7, multiply by 1 times 10 to the 9th, and I'll go ahead and do it for you, even though I know it's going to end up being 688, but times 1 times 10 to the 9th is going to give us 688. See that? 688. I'll round that off. And the units are going to be, we're going to be left with our nanometers. And there you go. All right, so what does this mean? This means if you know that some photon has this much joules of energy in it, you can figure out the wavelength. You can figure out the wavelength and the frequency. If you have a photon that has 2.89 times 10 to the negative 19th joules, it has a frequency of 4.36 times 10 to the 14th hertz or per second, waves per second. And it has, a uh, it has a wavelength of 688 nanometers. These all numbers are all locked into each other. Okay, and that's how your last two problems are done on your worksheet.